Hey guys, welcome back to JQ's Review. Today we're going to be reviewing Mortal Kombat 11. I'm here with the lovely Lanteria and Lara in the back controlling the camera. So we have a lot to discuss about Mortal Kombat 11. We will start off with the positive and then the negative about Mortal Kombat. But I'm going to hear it first from Lani because she actually enjoyed the story mode. And so I will pass it up to her first. Here you go. Why are you me the cam the microphone first? Because we're gonna start off with the positive and then we're gonna go up with the negative. No, you do the positive. I got a lot of negative to talk about. So you do yeah, you, you handle the positive. Okay, fine. I'll handle the positive, but even though I have more negativity than positive. Actually, where's the game? You have the cover? Uh, yes, it is well, up there. Okay. <laughs> okay, there. Um Well obviously you can see couple, some of the gameplay in the background, so that's one positive. The gameplay looks nice. On Xbox One and PS4. If you have a Switch, you, you're screwed, basically. <laughs> so pretty, pretty much my girlfriend experienced firsthand how badly the Switch it is. And it you is you have to rely on the internet. So the only thing you could do with the Switch is basically do story mode and versus mode. And everything else, you're completely fucked. You can't even do the Crip, which is supposed to be free. but That's crazy, though, that you can't do the Crip. Even on the Nintendo Switch. You know, that's kind of weird. It's... If I'm a person who don't have a Switch, to hear that, you know, you can't really use the Crip to unlock all these craps, it sucks. Yeah, and remember, it's a $60 game for the Nintendo Switch or any other game console, so that's another bad thing. But again, we're getting off topic. To the positive, the story mode. The story mode is really good. It's really cinematic. It's very good. It has a lot of fighting scenes. It has a lot of humor. It has a lot of twists and turns here and there and things we did not expect at all. Which is really good, and I admire. That's one of the reasons why Netherrealm has been doing good with their story mode, especially in Injustice and the previous Mortal Kombat games that they did in the past. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Uh, another good thing, the fighting. The fighting is actually really good. I, I'm a noob when it comes to fighting games. I, especially, I suck at Mortal Kombat. But, no, certain games I do suck at, so I'm not going to lie. But in Mortal Kombat, I actually had a chance, and I can actually do combos in the goddamn game. And that's that's me just pressing random buttons. Button measure. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> um, another positive thing about the game I could say is that mm, well shoot, there's not really that much to be honest. Only the the story mode, the versus mode, the character. I guess the fatalities are good. Yeah, that's that's on the fatalities are good. And the brutalities are and the brutalities are okay, I guess. But the X ray, those those are the kickers right there. Even though the X rays looks more like a fatality but yet they get up like nothing happens to them but it's Mortal Kombat so we really can't say expect nothing crazy like that um and I guess that's about it with the oh yeah the online service when you play online the versus mode there is no lag issue there's no none of that problem at all especially when you started doing the crypt to unlock things that's not a problem with me at all. I actually have fun with the Crip the way that... Oh, yeah, the Crip is fun, but I will go to the negative about the Crip in a few seconds. The Crip is fun because this time you get to walk around, explore, solve puzzles to open this chest, to open this and that, which is actually pretty fun because at least when you're done with the story mode and playing versus mode, you can just walk around and explore the whole um, um, island of Shang Tsung and e open each of the Cribs that are there. Now, let's go with the negativity of the game. But I will, this time, I will pass it to Lani now that she has something to say. Go ahead. Yes. The negativity. Well, obviously, obviously we already said the first one, which is the gameplay on the Switch sucks dick. You know, if you have the Nintendo Switch you have them, and you have Mortal Kombat 11, don't buy. Don't buy. Um, again, sorry, Lara. <coughs> the second thing I will say, he kind of said earlier, you know, with the fatality and the brutality, that's it. There's no babality. There's no, what, an animality? Mm -hmm. Something like that? Yeah, no you won't. <clears throat> no friendship. None of that shit. Just fatality, brutality, that's it. The third thing I'm going to say is actually gameplay. Uh, Sorry, story mode. I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't played it yet. I am. Wait, you, you going to spoil it? Well, I'm gonna spoil it. There's no point. They should have been. This is only a three hour game. I mean, story. I mean, been. from what you see in the background, like if you go through the entire story mode, including some fighting scene, you have like about four hours mm -hmm. to complete it, you know? But uh, I will say some parts of the story mode is bullshit. 
Explain to your AQ. From a certain person, a certain black person, by name of Jack Bridge. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Pussy ass motherfucker. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Basically, if you watch the Avengers Infinity War, you know that part where we all hate Chris Pratt? <laughs> Similar shit with Jax. Okay? <laughs> and I'm shaking the microphone. And I'm sorry about that. Because what he did was bullshit. Okay? So simple. Hmm, I'm not going to say it. I'm not. I mean, you'll probably say it, but I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to say it. Okay. Pussy ass motherfucker. But anywho, I'll continue. Uh, well, well, the negativity. I will say. Oh, the DLCs. Oh, yeah, you got to buy a lot of DLCs with this fucking game. You know how much that shit costs? Hundreds. Six to seven thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, that's coins. The Mortal Kombat coins. No, no, no. The no. whole price, like the amount of DLC of skins and stuff like that, is six to seven thousand dollars. U.S. U.S. Ta! You fuck! <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So, uh, yeah. If you want to be like those people buying the skins because you desperate want to see different outfits and different they're alternatives. Playing Barbie with those characters. That's all you're doing. Well, no. No, no, no. They're playing G.I. Joe. No, but you don't dress up G.I. Joe. You Actually, you do. <laughs> you do since when's it? Oh, yeah. The old G.I. Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take out the suit. You put that shit on. Okay, I well, got you, got you, got you. Yeah. So that's all the negativities I have. But other than that, Mortal Kombat is really a good game to play. Excuse me, especially versus mode. I will say that. It's a decent game. Especially if you're a button masher. Mm -hmm. uh, anything, you to, anything else you have to say? Well, you haven't played the game as much as I have in, the, in the experience that I've done. But, no shit, Sherlock. But anyway, <laughs> I will explain a couple of things. And this is actually, I want to hear your topic about it. Besides the DLC that's like six to seven thousand dollars, dick move. Anyway, besides that, the story mode is good. Besides the event with Jax, but then again, some of the questionable things they show—they don't show how Raiden got the Shinnok amulet. They don't show why Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade is not there helping their, you know, friends out. But you just see Jax and Cassie. I know Johnny Cage got hurt and fucking not even know Sonya didn't even get hurt. She was alright. She's got crush. I guess so, but she was fine. If Raiden can heal Scorpion, why didn't he heal Johnny Cage to help in the battle? Oh, another thing. You see a lot of Liu Kang smiles. Well, the evil Liu Kang. He have this, you know, pedophile grill <laughs> smile. That's why. You see him like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's something that doesn't bother us, per se, but it, it is funny to it see him smile. It's weird to see him. And you see him in... One scene after he finished talking. Smile. Then or, another scene. <laughs> and another. Even when he wins, he smiles. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So the microtransaction, we already know it's six or seven thousand dollars. Ed Boom denies it, but he he knows very well it's either Ed Boom or WB that's doing this microtransaction thing. And it's stupid. I will understand you guys want money. This is one of the reasons why I didn't enjoy the review too much of IGN. And I watched the review mostly, but they always forget to put something else that won't warn the customer. Hey, don't do this before you buy the game. No, you warn them on time. They give you free, I mean, early access to the game before anyone buys it. So you should tell them in advance about what they're going to experience. Mm -hmm. Especially, they didn't even warn them about the Nintendo Switch. People had to find out the hard way. And... I Oh yeah, my girl basically. And the thing is and the thing is and the thing is it's, it's kinda of bullshit. It really is. And like I said, I understand you guys in WB or Mortal Kombat or Edwoom. If you guys want money, give us good DLC. Give us characters. That we'll purchase that. Oh, and the character. Oh, oh, hold on, never mind. She has another she has another, she has another negativity. Here you go. Yo, the DLC characters. Yo, we do not want Joker. We do not want Terminator. I don't care what you say. Terminator sucks dick. What's another one? Spawn. Okay, Spawn. Maybe, maybe not. -ish. What was the last one? Ash from Evil Dead. 
again. That's all I'm going to say with that. The only reason how we know that some of these characters might be in the game is we because... We don't fucking want Ash for them. <laughs> Actually, the four DLC that she mentioned, I wouldn't mind having them there. In the... I, I do mind. We don't need the, them. The only reason why I don't mind because they're kind of new characters and not the same we repetitive... They're not the same repetitive characters that we had to we play don't with. Need them. The only thing I've been saying before, if you guys want paid DLC... We don't need them. Again, if you want paid TLC, give us something new, something fresh that people will want to buy. That's not dress up dolls. Oh, like some of the characters that we have to face against during story mode and not even part of it. Like my boy Cyrax. Yo, why he's not part of it? Racist. Okay, that is so racist. All right. What? Yeah, go on. Go on now. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Sector. Yeah, he's not part of it too. What's up with that? Racist. You know, and I, people like, oh, why are you saying that's racist? Because they were black. Okay, that's why. But well, not not sexual. Well, Cyrex was. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Again, Nether Realm and Warner Bros. Studio did not learn their lesson from the previous game, Mortal Kombat so XL. Right they did this in the previous game where they had Rain, Purple Rain, or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> they had Rain. They had Baraka. And they have other characters that they're in the game, but they're not playable at all. Not playable. So it's kind of dumb to have them here as well right. with Cyrax and Sector. They should have had been unlockable characters, free unlockable or, characters. You know, at the crib. At the crib. And Unlock to top them. it off, if you you could, I don't understand why. Now, back then in PlayStation 2, I'll give you an example. When Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance came out, it started off with a small Great group. Game. It came out with a small group of a small group of characters. Then when Deception came out, the uh, roster expanded a little bit more. When Armageddon came out, which oh. wasn't a good game, but I mean, it's it still, was, it still yeah, it gave you a shitload yeah. of characters. I wonder how come in Mortal Kombat 9, XL, and now 11, it seems like the roster they're getting smaller. Oh, it stood the same. I agree with you. And and that's the thing. If these thing is about timeline bringing characters back from the dead and whatever, you could have brought Melina back. You got Cyrex and Sector. You could have bring a lot of other characters back since they're fucking up with the timeline and shit. It oh, shouldn't. She's not even part of it. Yeah, sh uh, sh uh, yeah she Shiva, looks Shiva, like a man. Shiva. She looks like a man, but no, she's not even a playable character. Exactly, Shiva, Sindel, Nightwolf, Striker, all these other uh, characters. No, 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 Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know what you're going to say. Fuck the police. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Striker sucks. I actually like Striker. I'm not going to lie. But then again, you have Aaron Black, who's a, who's a gun character, so you don't need Striker. So, yeah. All right. Well, now, again, the other thing that's really infuriating about the game as well is... um. All right, all right. Hold on. Shut up, phone. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke about the DLC. I spoke about the the crypt. I spoke about all these other things as well. It, why does out of this game, and this is what pisses me off, Mortal Kombat 9 will always be the superior of Mortal Kombat XL and Mortal Kombat 11. Why I say that? Because at least in Mortal Kombat 9, you had two on team tag, tag team battle. I have four... Xbox remote. Why did I buy four Xbox remote? Because I thought at least some of these games will have, sorry, some of these games will have a four player co op offline. You can do tag teams. This game needed a tag team. Why the flying fuck didn't you do it? If you're going to give us a small roster, at least give us tag team. For the love of God, test your might is not there. That gambling other bullshit is not there as well. Half of the things that made Mortal Kombat. Yo, do you know how many? Time we have to break my like my thumb was sore with that touch of my shit pressing the fucking A button. Like those puzzle games and all that other shit that was once there is not there. That's what made Mortal Kombat great. It was silly, but it was great. It has a lot of uh, mini games. I will say that you know from like you said Deadly, Deadly Alliance and mm -hmm. beyond, it had a lot of mini games like the chess. Mm -hmm. Remember the chess? The bootleg Mario Go Kart. That shit was fun. No. I actually enjoyed it. That that was I fun. I enjoy that. Big ass hair in a small ass car. <laughs> That's a boy. It was funny. <laughs> but yeah, there's no like any extra mini game besides the crib. But you, again, you need online for all of that. If you try that shit off online, you're screwed work. at all. Um, to top it off, what's that? The tag teams out there, Babality's not there. Half of the things that made Mortal Kombat great is not there. 
I will say this. Since the game just came out, obviously it's going to be a couple of updates. Don't know when, but hopefully during these updates, not only they be able to give us the characters, not only they be giving us mini games maybe, and also a better access for the crypt, you know. And give us more. Give us, except making us buy Microsoft transaction stuff. Because if you play the story mode or even versus mode, they do give you like coins and or, or and orbs and heart things. But they give you very little. If you want like more, you have to buy it. Like, no, don't do that. If we went through four hours playing the story mode, give us a lot of money. Give us a lot of hearts. Give us a lot of blue orbs. Because they ain't going to do that shit. Right? Exactly. Don't make us buy it. It's stupid, man. That's bad, bad marketing people are gonna get exactly people are gonna get frustrated if you're wondering why people go out and buy like rk emulators or any emulators nowadays because people are tired of being charged for stupidity people are gonna go buy that than any of your games or console if you continue doing this no one wants to buy a playstation 5 no one wants to buy an xbox 2 or whatever they're gonna call it next nobody wants to buy it because that's all well i mean i don't know what they're calling but the new xbox is coming out in 2020 I don't know what's it called. It's just a new Xbox, but I don't know. The... Yeah, but Xbox two. Well, this one's Xbox One, so I mean, I think they might call it Two. But anyway, um, <laughs> no Xbox Part Two. <laughs> <laughs> part Two. Um, that's one of the things that I really don't like with Netherware or Warner Bros. Studio, and I hate that Ed Boom is denying it. If he doesn't know because they're doing it behind his back, okay, I will agree with him. But if he knows carefully that they are doing it. Mm then it's really shameful on him because it's a, basically a big bitch slap to the fans. Again, money is important. That's perfectly fine. Everybody wants money. But give us something good for what we paid for, for our, our hard-working cash. Word. Don't give us crap. We don't want to buy crap. Word. Nobody wants to buy any of that stuff. Word. And before we give this a rating, because I already know what I'm going to give it. Lara, do you have anything to say? Anything on your behalf of the experience on the Switch of Mortal Kombat 11? Please speak. And for a game that took... Uh, repeat that, a, repeat that one more time. The graphics sucked. Bad. And I was like expecting more. And then I get this half ass shit. And not only that, it took up mad space. It took up, what, 16... Yeah, the most out of everything I have on my Switch. It took up like 16 fucking, um, what you call it? Good. Yeah, half my thing is gone because of that. And I'm like, wow, okay. That's wow. how it is. 16 gig and watch a switch is very small compared to what we have a terabyte. Gig? Mm. They took up half, half that. Oh, line, hell no. It's like half. Wait. Another negativity mm. with switch. Yo, I'll tell you, switch, you getting screwed. Mm -hmm. Half of your shit's gone. I'm like, wow. 16 gigs? Nobody's gonna buy the switch ever since. And I still hate IGN, still gave it a good rating on the switch. Fuck no. you, IGN. I'm sorry, fuck you. If they gave it a 7 out of 10. No. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Besides IGN and their rating with the Switch, we're not talking about the Switch, we're talking about Mortal Kombat 11. On the game itself, since you play on Xbox One, what rating would you give it? If they don't fix all the problems we I just mentioned, I know, I know. If they don't fix all the problems that we mentioned right now, this game right now is standing at a 6 out of 10. This game is, for me, is average and it will get boring very easily people will not go back to the crypt if you don't give them their reward because you can't reward them for, you can't make them pay for something that's already on the disc you can't it's just selfish and greedy and cruel to do that to your consumers and to your fan base as well now lanny what will you give this rating to this game i will give it an na because like you said i haven't played it yet okay an a then an a yeah no, okay i'm sorry all right but still that's fine, and I respect your decision. You have to. Do you have no other choice? That's fine. I'm going to beat you with this mic and do a real fatality on YouTube. <laughs> Baby, <Ow>, you <laughs> bitch. Cut the camera. Cut the camera. Cut the camera. Or kill this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this review, <laughs> if you enjoyed this. <laughs> If you enjoyed if you enjoyed this review, please comment and subscribe to JQ's World. If you guys have any suggestions what other game I should review, stop moving this. <laughs> I'm gonna the next game I'm gonna review is World War Z, a game that has been given to me by Danny on my birthday, and oh, I will review that. Yeah. <laughs> well my gift, huh? Well my gift. It's on layaway. <laughs>
Actually, it is. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Take care. Have a good night. We'll see you soon. Peace.